Overspeed control and the safety control of the functions of the P2A brake application valve. With the overspeed control and safety features consisting with the P2A brake application valve, which is piloted with the vending device compromising the overspeed magnet valve, the overspeed control foot valve with the safety control of the overspeed magnet valve is normally energized whenever the authorized maximum speed limit is exceeded. The overspeed magnet valve becomes de energized and functions with the vent atmosphere to the pressure of the spring chamber of the P2 brake application valve. The foot pressure must be maintained on the foot pedal for the foot valve at all times unless the brake cylinder pressure is approximately 30 PSI is already in effect. Whenever the foot pressure is removed from the foot pedal, the foot valve of the functions also vents the atmosphere pressure for the spring chamber of the P2A brake um, application valve and if being vented with the air pressure dissipated through the system of the chokes and whistles later providing with the audible warning over the time related period for the pressure has been come reduced significantly sufficiently to cause the brake out valve application to apply the p2a brake application figure seven um functions automatically in response to the operation over speed of the control and safety controls of the vending the de- um, vending of the device to produce the full service brake application unless the brake valve handles to be moved to the suppression position in the predetermined time interval after the start of the audible warning whistle the p2a brake application Valve um, consists of the main diaphragm control with the spool valve with the reduction check valve with the release control valve with the suppression valve and it's also mounted on the pipe bracket to which the pipe connections are made to be identified as files. The three, the foot valve, five, the equalizing reserve, eight, the lock over the pipe, ten, the safety control pipe, fifteen, the equalizing reserve charging from the brake valve, twenty-five, the power knockout, um, twenty-six, the suppression pipe, twenty, the, thirty. Um, the main reserve pipe, 24, the reduction limiting reserve, and 33, the switch pipe. With the locomotive of equ- equipped charge and the operating normally main reserve air enters the port number 30 in the pipe at the char- pipe bracket. The flows in the s- underside of the diaphragm, also through the port number 10 of the A, uh, A spring chamber over the diaphragm, also to port number 10 at the time reserve, or over volume, over speed, the control magnet, which is this closest in an operative position. Main reserve air from the port n- number 10 also flows and passes in the lower end of the suppression valve at the port number Three, the foot valve, which is held with the close of the foot pressure to the foot pedal, with the chamber on both sides of the diaphragm charged with the main reserve pressure, and the diaphragm spring will position the diaphragm assembly and attach the spool valve in the normal release position. In this position, the spool valve makes the following connections. One, the the, redu- the reduction of limiting the reserve exhaust for the atmosphere V with the port number 24 of the power knockout switch or the PC switch is vented to the atmosphere V with the port number 25. To the equalizing reserve port of number five is connected through the um, through to the release control valve, permitting the equalizer reserve equalizing reserve charge and the relay valve portion of the brakes valve. The equalizing reserve charging port number fifteen. With the automatic brake valve hand in the release position, port number 33 for the chamber, also uh, above the release control of the valve, the charge for the main reserve air pressure for the um, main reserve pressure of the charge below the release control valve, the application spool valve is vented through the port number 8 and the suppression of the valve of the brake valve via the number 8 pipe. Hence, the release of the control valve is handed in the downward position shown in figure 7 connection to the number 5 port within the 50, number 15 port. During a penalty brake application, the initiated venting of the number 3 pipe with the foot valve with the venting with the number 10 pipe with the overspeed of the magnet valve the air's pressure is vented through the spring chamber above the diaphragm faster than it can be restored through the choke of the port in the port of the number 10A. How consequently, a pressure differential is established across the diaphragm sufficiently to cause an attached spool valve to move upwardly in the application position. The position of the spool valve makes the following connections. One, the main reserve air pressure of the number 30 in the chamber beneath the diaphragm is connected to the port number 25, thence to, um, thence to power cutting off switch, PC switch, or dynamic cutoff switch. The main, two, the main reserve air pro- will normally flow through the choke port and choke in the port number 10A that is connected to port number 8. Therefore, the chamber of the spring side of the diaphragm, as well as the time reserving valve that is connected to port number 10, is also integrally connected to the number 8, which is connected to the lockout num- number 8 pipe of the brake valve. The pipe is normally vented at the brake valve by the suppression valve, the spool valve, with the automatic brake valve handle in release position. Three, the equalizing reserve charging of the port from port number 15 is cut off. Four, or the equalizing reserve of the airport number five is connected from the spool valve to the port number 24 and the equal... Uh, the calibrated cho- choke of the, the port number 24, the reduction limiting the reserve equalizing reserve air is thereby uh, allowed to equalize the control rate of the reduction limiting of the reserve to produce the fu- full service equalizing reserve pressure reduction. A safety control brake application can be suppressed and moving the automatic brake valve handle to the suppression point before the expiration of the predetermined time delay in the period after the wi- warning whistle commences to the sound. The brake of the valve with the b- handle to the brake um, suppression position, the suppression valve with the spool valve, the brake valve with the position to close the venting of the lockout in number 8 pipe, thereby preventing the vent into the spring chamber through the pipe, the main reserve air supply with the suppression valve. 
flows through port number 26 of the connecting port number 26 in the P2A brake application valve, which flows through port number 26 to the face suppression valve, the position piston, the piston, the force in the piston downward to the spool valve that connects, cuts off the connection between port number 3 and 10. The spring chamber above the diaphragm is cut off between the port number 3, the um, number, and the foot valve. The main reserve air can, the air reserve air can, can consequently supply through the port 10A to the choke spring chamber the, above the diaphragm, keeping the diaphragm assembly the detached pool in the release position the function of the safety control vending device the foot valve cannot be also cannot be used application of um to apply so long as the automatic brake valve handle has been moved to the suppression position an overspeed controlling brake application expressed over to the reducing speed limit of the locomotive maximum authorized speed limit before the expiration predetermined delay period of the warning whistle commencing to the sound. Such actions are avoided with the num vending number 10 pen pipe through the overspeed vending of the device magnet valve. To set the release in the safety control overspeed control brake application, the engine must first move the automatic brake valve handle to the suppression position. The result in closing number 8 pipe then ending at the brake valve. The spring chamber of the brake application will then be recharged through port number 10A to the main reserve pressure. As soon as the pressure of the chamber approaches the predetermined valve within the diaphragm assembly, the spool valve will reset their normal and release position. The brake valve handled in the suppression position, port number 33, chamber above the release control valve is vented through the suppression valve of the spool with the brake valve, the number 8 pipe then vented closed. The main reserve air pressure of the port number 10 is also allowed to flow past the application valve spool with the chamber beneath the release control valve. The release control valve is therefore actuated to cut off number 15 to the port number 5 poor charging. Hence after the application is reset necessary to move the automatic brake valve handle to the release position to re re reset the release control valve through the reestablished equalizing reserve charge of release brakes. An over reduction can be made if desired above the after the penalty, penalty of the brake application by the moving of the brake valve handle and beyond service position or handle off position. Um, an over reduction between a valve with the P2A brake application will open and permit the equalizing reserve to airflow through port number 5 to port number 15 in the brake valve. Your brake two protection feature, brake and two protection feature.